I'm here with Aubrey Evely. He's the CEO, President and Director for Zenyatta Ventures Limited, Zenyatta Trades from the TSX Venture Exchange, ZEN. How are you today, Aubrey? Good. Nice to be here, Tracy. Can you tell me how you got involved in graphite? Well, it started with forming the company de December 2010 with Cliffs Natural Resources. Uh, the idea was to go and explore in northern Ontario for base metals. And we flew an airborne survey at first came up with a very large and intense geophysical anomaly. We drilled it and found that it was graphite, a very large graphite breccia zone. So what makes your graphite property competitive with the others that seem to be popping up everywhere? Well, it's very unique. It's not like anything else anybody's talking about out there. It's hydrothermal in style. So the only one that we can come up with and look at in terms of the same style as Sri Lankan type, it's a vein type. It was also formed by hydrothermal fluids. Explain to the novice investor who's new to the graphite industry what a vein type gra uh, graphite means. So vein type is, is talking about the hydrothermal style. So think of a quartz vein for example. If you have a fracture in the earth, a fault zone, it'll come up uh, the vein will come up through those faults and fractures as a fluid and solidify. Just imagine graphite being a fluid, um, carbon in a fluid instead of silica. It, it forms in the same manner, different obviously element. Your primary property is Albany and you recently put out some news. Can you talk to me about what you announced? Yes, we put out a drill hole uh, recently, 132 meters grading 3.8% carbon. It was our biggest intersection to date and our best result. We're finding that this is firming up to be quite large, this deposit. There's been a lot of buzz with regards to Zenyatta on the street, and you've done fairly well at raising capital. What kind of capital do you have in the bank right now? We started this drill program out of $3 million. Uh, we'll probably still have a couple million left after the end of this program. So we'll probably go into the fall, August, September, uh, with still having two million dollars. What benchmarks should we as investors expect over the next six to nine months? Well we're going to continue to drill. We'd, we'd like to do some widely spaced drill holes, see if it does extend over the entire extent of the geophysical anomaly, which we believe it does, and then do some mo more metallurgical work with SGS Lakefield. We're, we still have a mini bulk sample in there right now. It's only under kilograms. I suspect that we're going to get a larger sample in there in the coming months and, and, and keep testing the metallurgy. We want to know what the quality of this graphite is. It's very important going forward. We'd like to thank Aubrey Evely from Zenyatta Ventures Limited again for joining us today. 